All three men, Damon Clark, Reginald Tardy Jr., and Brian Van Farrow, face charges of racketeering, conspiracy, and obtaining money by false pretense. Clark and Tardy were arraigned in Montcalm County District Court. The Attorney General says Van Farrow, formerly of Grand Rapids, has fled the country. Here's how the AG says it started. Clark convinced a Grand Rapids woman named Aracelis Tejada to buy some rental properties back in 2005, calling it a business opportunity. But when Clark filled out the loan paperwork for the woman, he lied, according to investigators. An affidavit says Clark lied about Tejada's employment, lied about her income, her rental history, and claimed each of the six houses was the woman's primary residence. Despite an apparent language barrier, Tejada told investigators she eventually noticed the false statements about her employment and income. She said Clark told her the lies were necessary to get the loans. The six properties, according to the AG, include homes on Eastern Avenue Southeast, Fountain Street Northeast, Liberty Street Southwest, Henry Avenue Southeast, Lynch Street Southwest, and Dickinson Street Southeast. The AG says Clark and Tardy obtained generous assessments for all six homes, and after each sale, investigators say the two walked away with illegal kickbacks from the seller, the same seller for all six houses. Who was it? The affidavit charges it was Van Farrow and his company, Advanced Realty Systems. Target 8 investigated Van Farrow back in 2005, the same year these sales occurred. Did uh, we ask you a few questions about uh, Advanced Realty? Uh, not at this point. Target 8 found he was telling homeowners in trouble he'd help them. He would get them to sign their homes over to Advanced, and he would then sell the homes back to the former owners on a land contract at an inflated price. The homeowners often couldn't afford the contract payments and defaulted. Van Farrow would then wind up with the property and sell it for another profit. Now charged in this case, a spokesman for the Attorney General says the office is weighing options as it looks to bring Van Farrow before a judge.